Greetings. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. These are the words we heard yesterday when ashes were placed on our heads. A stark reminder that this journey of life is simply that, a journey which will come to an end. In today's Gospel from St. Luke, Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Like each of us, Jesus' journey on this earth will come to an end. And he warns his disciples that it will be a very cruel, humiliating, and violent end. But he will defeat death and rise again on the third day. This is a reminder and a promise to us that when everything around us, including ourselves, turns to dust, we too will rise to new life with Jesus for all eternity. My friends, this reminder, this promise, requires from us a radical response. We must deny ourselves. We must take up our cross daily and follow him. We need to make a conscious decision to detach ourselves from everything that will perish even our very selves. Material possessions, disordered affections, self-serving desires and pleasures, all which distract us from following Christ. Beware of gaining the world, of becoming wrapped up, consumed by worldly things, which will eventually turn to dust. Let us keep our focus on Christ the risen Christ. Our Christian identity is defined by our sincere desire to follow Christ. Therefore, whatever daily challenges we face, whatever daily sacrifices we make in the name of Jesus Christ, in spite of our weaknesses and our sinfulness, will gain for us the salvation of our souls and the inheritance of eternal life. As we begin this Lenten period, this return journey to our Christian identity, may we put aside selfish desires. May we look beyond the sufferings and challenges of this present age. May we embrace the joy of serving Christ in our brothers and sisters, especially in the poor and the rejected. And may our faith in the risen Lord keep us firmly rooted in the supernatural hope that when we do return to dust, we will rise again to new life with Christ for all eternity. May we pray more intensely, fast, more sincerely, and give alms more generously. And may God continue to bless you abundantly.